Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. I'm Aria. And I'm Daisy. And, and we're, we're the Scripture, Scripture Explorers. Well, Explorers, last time we looked at Lehi's vision of the Tree of Life. What did you think of it? It was really cool, but... It was really confusing. Yeah, I want to know more about what it all means. Well, I have some good news for you then. Someone else wanted to know more about Lehi's vision. Can you guess who it was? Nephi? That's right. After Lehi told everyone about his vision, Nephi felt like he needed to know more. So he did something that we can all do when we want to know more about spiritual things. He prayed? Yes, and in response to his prayer, he had a marvelous vision. In the vision, he found himself on top of a high mountain, and an angel appeared to him. The angel showed him the same vision that Lehi had seen, and then showed him what it all meant. Nephi saw the tree that Lehi had seen, and the angel told him that it represented the love of God. Nephi was then shown Mary, and that she would give birth to Jesus. He saw the life of Jesus, his baptism, the miracles he would work, and all he would do in mortality. Then he saw that Jesus would be judged and crucified by wicked men, and then that he would be resurrected. What in the dream showed that? All of the blessings that come from the atonement of Jesus are represented in the dream by the fruit of the tree that Lehi ate. What about the big building? Oh yes, the great and spacious building. It was full of people who were making fun of the people who ate the fruit of the tree. This represents the world. Many people in the world think they are wise for making fun of those who believe in Jesus. But do you know what happened to the building in the vision? No, what happened? The great and spacious building collapsed. It crumbled, and those who were in the building were destroyed. This shows that the wisdom of the world will fall. Unlike Heavenly Father and Jesus, the wisdom of the world can't save us. There were many other symbols in the dream too. The rod of iron that people followed to the tree is a symbol for the scriptures, or the word of God that will lead us to him. And the fountains of dirty water that some people fell into and were drowned represent the ways Satan influences the world and leads people away from God. I think that's everything from the dream, isn't it? That is everything that Lehi described in his dream, but Nephi saw much more than this. He saw what would happen in the future. He saw that his descendants would become a mighty nation known as the Nephites, but they would have many wars with the descendants of Laman called the Lamanites. He saw that one day, the Nephites would be destroyed. Oh, that's sad. It did make Nephi very sad, but there's more he needed to see. He saw that there would come a time when the truth was not on the earth. He saw that the records of the Jews, the Bible, would go out to the world, but that it would be missing many plain and precious things which would make it hard for people to understand. He then saw that the records of the Nephites, the Book of Mormon, would come forward, and the truth would be restored to the world. That's great! Was that the last thing he saw? He actually saw quite a bit more, but he was commanded not to write the rest. He was told that someone else, someone I think you all might know, would be writing the rest. Oh, it's John! That's right. The book that John wrote, the book called Revelation, contains the rest of what Nephi saw. Well, after this vision, Nephi left his tent. He found his siblings fighting. Laman and Lemuel didn't understand what Lehi had told them. Nephi asked if they had prayed to learn the meaning of it, but Laman and Lemuel were not very spiritually minded, and they hadn't prayed about it. Nephi explained the vision to them, and they stopped fighting, and even tried for a time to be good. Laman and Lemuel tried to be good? Yes, they did, and it was a good thing too, because it was time now for the family to begin their journey to the promised land.